Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 10. So if you guys are caught up for a playlist, and if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to get the latest updates. And here we are for this April 29th game against the Reds. Uh, the Reds have Sonny Gray on the mound, who's 3-0 with a 1.97 ERA. He's pitching really well right now. We got Red, we got Zach Wheeler, who's 2-1 with a 4.5 ERA. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here. Hopefully we can get Sonny early in the game and just take him out. And uh, yeah, see you guys in City Field. 3-2. Blue throws. God, I'm looking at a slider. That throws Suarez for the first out of the second inning. 1-2 to Scooter. Got him. Froze him with the slider. He's loaded for Wheeler. Ah. Froze me with that 12-6 uh, curveball. I'm going to swing at this. Let's walk in that run, buddy. Yes. And that walks in a run. McNeil taking the 3-1 count, taking that ball on the inside. He's giving one nothing Mets here in the second inning with two outs. You have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Swung on and lifted in the air to drop in, drop in. Oh, and he misses it. So it's gonna be two runs. And McNeil advances to third base. That is uh, two RBIs for Pete Alonso. It was a missed dive. So two runners were able to score. I kept Alonzo on first and advanced McNeil. And that's a shot by Cano. This could be a home run. No, it's just going to be off the wall, but one, one run scores. Alonzo being waved home, and he is safe. That is two RBIs for Robinson Cano. That's a double. It's fifth of the year. No narrowly misses the home run, but I'll take it anyway. That is a two-run double. Sonny Gray is out. One to the Barnhart. Oh my gosh, Lauer, really? Did that throw? That is an error on Lowry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah. That's going to be RBI double for Cincinnati here by Jesse Winker. It's going to be 5 to 1 still. So Joey Votto. Swing and a miss with a slider. Inning over, but the Reds are able to score 1 1. So, we're moving on to the middle of the third. It's 5-1. to one. So one two to Matt Kemp, I guess, got traded to the Reds. <laughs> He's going to have a double here. And that is a double for Matt Kemp. Here in the fourth inning. And this is another surprising name right here. Yasiel Puig. Just been a two-man trade to the Reds. Let me try to get him out here. That's a base hit by Wheeler. Helping his cause here in the sixth inning. Two and two to Yasiel Puig. Got him looking at the fastball. He knew that he missed an opportunity to hit the ball there. And that is Wheeler's fifth strikeout. What? Come on. Let's challenge that. Has to be out. Man. 
Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another Ow. look at it. Right Come on. Here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. What? Oh, the challenge I'm saying is challenge. I thought they called it safe. They called it out. Yep, they called it out. Number 43. And that's a strikeout. Full wheeler. This is probably his last battle of the game getting Shepard out on the splitter. They're going to the bottom of the seventh. Mets are up five to one. What a stop by Votto. Getting Cano. Robin Cano over hit. What a play. And that also froze Votto. Inning over back to back strikeouts for Kimbrough coming out of the bullpen. This should be the ball game. Out at first. And put in the books. The Mets win 5 to 1. Uh, that's behind Zach Wheeler in the offense. P. Alonzo with two RBIs. And let's check out the offense here, actually. See, Lagarde's 2 for 4, Cano 2 for 4 with 2 RBIs, Pete Alonso 1 for 3 with 2 RBIs, also Jeff McNeil with an RBI with that uh, walk-in run, and look at Zach Wheeler over here, 3 hits, what is it, yeah 3 hits, 6 strikeouts, 1 earned run and 2 walks, I'll take that start any day from him, and uh, we were able to get Sonny Gray early, like I said I wanted to do. I scored five runs, got him out of the game in an inning and two thirds. So that's definitely a performance that I really enjoy out of Wheeler in the match. Even though we did strike out a lot, we swung and missed a lot. Uh, we used to be a little more selective with our, with our pitches. And we are going to be, let's see, that's the first game in the series, second game in the series, and we get Wheeler again. So. See, I'm trying to figure out who should pitch next in my series. Syndergaard just pitched. Wheeler definitely just pitched for us. Oh, this is going to send us through, though. Let's see. Send to date. And we tied 1-1 one to one since the end of the game. And we lost 5-1, to one, damn it. Who gave it up? Seawald. We lost actually the game before with Steven Matz. He's now 1 and 3. Uh, let's see. Jacob DeGrom's up against Luis Castillo. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we lost a series to Cincinnati. So now Jacob DeGrom's 3 and 3 with a 3.1 ERA. Um, let's take a look at the box score here. What the heck happened? Only 3 hits for the Mets? Oh boy. Nine strikeouts. Dang. Okay. So, the next thing we'll do is we'll... You know what? I want to play the next game Jacob DeGrom. This actually upsets me a little bit. Uh, wow. <sighs> Boy. Wow, and we are losing like crazy. We won the first game against Milwaukee, lost the second game, and then lost the third game. And lost in <laughs> lost in San Diego. We're 20 and 15 now. Let's take a look at the standings. I'm a little upset about this. We're now dropped down to third. Well, tied first. Well, we're third because their Nationals and Phillies are tied at 21 and 13. That is not cool. That is not cool, guys. Oh gosh. Next time we're playing, it's going to be with Jacob DeGrom against Garrett Richards in San Diego. It's going to be a May 7th game. So, hope you guys like this episode. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave in the comments below. Uh, and click the thumbs up. I think I said that already. But I'm trying to get at least uh, 40, 47 likes for this video. So, click the thumbs up. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. And peace.